What's going on guys? It's your boy No Life Alls here for another vlog or whatever you want to call this shit. We got a pretty good day today. It's uh, day... I think it's like day four of like quarantine or lockdown. It's a pretty nice day outside. I don't know if you can see that. Like the sun's out. I'm gonna blind the camera right now. Anyway, today I got something a little bit different. And it's not your typical boring content, but instead it's just a bit of something that I actually got as a present from someone. So the other day I actually cleaned my office. I'll show you in a sec what it looks like. It looks fresh now. It looked horrible before. There was fucking books everywhere from studying and just a bunch of paper and shit. So I cleaned that up and I actually got rid of my chair because my office chair that I used to use was just some shitty one my parents bought me like from a market and uh, it started scaling and it was just a piece of shit. So my girlfriend was like, yo, what do you want for your birthday? And I was like, you know, I kind of need a chair. My chairs are all fucked up. So she got me an Ander Dark Knight Special Edition, supposedly one of the comfiest chairs in the market for the price. I don't know the exact pricing, but it's pretty expensive, but it is a gift, so lit. But yeah, the reviews were like, yo, this, this chair, man, this chair is more supportive than my family. So that's something I can get around for sure. So we're going to get that chair, we're going to put it together, and then I'm going to sit in the chair and I'm going to let you know what I think of it. As an individual, I'm quite picky when it comes to desk chairs. I got a real, like, grandpa fucking geriatric back for some reason. My genetics have just blessed me with that. So when it comes to sitting in a chair for a long period of time, particularly when I'm studying, it can be a big problem. So I think my review will be, uh, I guess, useful for people who are really looking for that chair that can be used for, you know, not only studying, but just general, you know, uh, desk work. So I hope you like the video. Let's get straight into it. All right, so it's been like four hours and Mr. UPS delivery man has not arrived. It's almost 5 p.m. which means that I'll have to wait till tomorrow so I'll see you then one eternity later hey guys so after about seven days almost seven days of waiting for my chair to come I mean originally obviously my thoughts of the chair coming the next day was very wishful but um my chair has finally arrived here it is a bit of a dirty box but that's it there, the Ander seat, Dark Knight, the big one, big boy. Guys, so I got the beautiful box here and uh, I'm going to open it, but unfortunately I couldn't find a normal knife because uh, my household it doesn't have the resources for just normal cutlery. So I'm going to be using this. Uh, this is my opening tool that I use to open many boxes. Let's get into it. Probably use this side a bit sharper. Ooh, fat. That's the thumbnail. I'm just gonna take everything out of the box and put it on the floor and I'll show you that. What the fuck is that? Flashlight. Save that for later. Have two flashlights. This is all the stuff on the floor. Bit of ASMR. Come close. This is the, uh, it's the headrest, the real weird looking one that nobody likes. I like it, so get away. Oh 
sure what that piece of cardboard there's for. Oh, there's like spaghetti in here. Spaghetti. <laughs> Ooh, like a glove. Maybe it's like an attachment for the flashlight. So this frame has like a lifetime warranty, which is pretty sweet. It's like pretty fucking durable shit. It's good. Nah, the big boy. Charcoal, black, and the seat logo comes down onto the uh, lumbar support. Alright, here's for the big moment. I'm gonna sit in the chair for the first time. Ah! Got it! Yes sir. yes sir, yes sir. Feeling very like Game of Thrones here. I feel like this is my throne now. The ultimate throne. It's got a pretty good back support. So like now when I study, I'm guessing you can adjust these. Yeah. And then I can go all the way in. And get pushed up against the desk so that I'm not bending over like this. I can even adjust this mechanism here using this lever. Push myself right in so that I'm not ever studying with a bad posture. Which is exactly why I bought the chair. So, good job and the seat. This is a mint chair, good as. And in addition to that, if I'm ever like exhausted or tired, put that shit in leisure mode to give you a bit of a swivel like this. And then what you can do is take it all the way back. Uh, go for a bit of a snooze. Alright guys, so after some time my chair finally arrived, as you can see I'm sitting in it. Got the nice Andesite logo in uh, matte black, which is looking pretty fresh. Overall, chair is good as. I never sat in a chair like this, in fact I'd agree with the person originally who said it supported them more than their family. I agree with that. This chair would definitely support me more than anyone in my family. Very sad. Anyway, the chair was very easy to put together. Took me about 25 minutes total. Uh, the chair's pretty heavy, so uh, one mistake I made was trying to uh, build the chair outside of the area where I needed it to be. So I therefore had to lift the constructed chair and put it into the study, which put some strain on my back. Luckily for the chair, I can now pull this little lever down here, like this. And go in for a nice relaxation session. With that being said, I'd probably rate the chair like a fucking easy, easy 9 out of 10. This is one of the comfiest chairs I've ever sat in. I recommend that if you have postural issues and uh, you have like uh, any type of back pain, particularly in your lower back or the midsection of your back, you could say, uh, I'd definitely recommend this chair because it will really help you with your posture, especially when you're studying for a long period of time. Other than that, sick chair. Uh, easy to build. The textures on the actual chair themselves are pretty sweet. Nice. And they're made of PVC leather, so polyvinyl chloride. 
instead of a PU, I forgot what that stands for, but essentially PVC leather is a synthetic type of leather which is much more durable than PU leather used in things like secret lab chairs and things like that. So this chair in itself is much more durable than some of the more expensive chairs in the market. So I definitely recommend them for the price. Anyway, with that being said, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell so that you get notifications when I post. And you leave some comments and I'll read them, I'll reply to them. And uh, any feedback, just leave it in the comments and I'll get right to it. Until next time, thanks for joining No Life Alls, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.